I'm Anil Kumar. We are doing transformation of quadratic functions. In this particular video, we will see how to perform transformations of quadratic function using image point. We need to sketch g of x equals to half x plus 1 whole square minus 2. And what we are given here is the base function y equals to x square. Now let us analyze the transformation from x squared to g of x which is half x plus 1 whole square minus 2. As you can see the transformation here is that half means vertically compressed by a factor of half and this plus 1 means horizontally translated one unit left and that minus 2 means vertically translated two units up. Right. So we could write this as uh, this is two units up right and uh, let me use another ink and say this is one unit left and uh, we'll take another ink for the first one which is uh, vertical stretch right so vertical by factor of half Better word was compression, right? Because when you multiply by half, it really get compressed. So we can use vertical compression by a factor of half, right? So, so these are the steps involved. You could do these steps from left to right. That means on the given graph, first compress each and every the graph half downwards, right? And then move it one unit left and two units down. I'm sorry, this should be 2 units down. Minus 2, I'm sorry. This is 2 units down. Okay, 2 units down to get your final graph. But we'll do it with the help of image points. So if we have x, y as a coordinate point for the original function, as we are given here, key points, minus 3, 9, minus 2, 4, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, and 3, 9. Now, image points will be the x values minus 1, 1 left. So x values change from x to x minus 1. The y values will change. They get multiplied by half, right? And then take away 2. So that is the change in y values, correct? So I'll do changes with few of them and then we'll actually sketch this function, right? So, so let's perform this. We have, let's say, minus 3, 9. So if I start with minus 3, 9, in that case, 1 less than minus 3 is actually minus 4. And as far as y value is concerned, half of 9 is 4.5. 4.5 take away 2 is 2.5, right? So we get our point. The next point is minus 2, 4. So we have minus 2, 4. 1 less than minus 2 is minus 3. Half of 4 is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. Then what we have is minus 1, 1. Take away 1 more from minus 1 gives you minus 2. Half of 1 is 0. 0.2 and take uh, half of 1 is 0. 0.5. Taking away 0. 0.5 from minus 2 will be minus 1.5. Then we have 0, 0. So we have 0, 0. Now, 1 less than 0 is minus 1, and half of 0 is 0, and then minus 2. So we get these set of points. So let's plot these points first. Minus 3, 9 moves to minus 4, 2.5. So minus 4, 2.5 is kind of here. So that is, that is what this point is. Minus 4, 2.5, then minus 3, 0. So at minus 3, we get 0, okay? Minus 2, minus 1.5, minus 2, this is minus 1, and that is minus 1.5. At minus 1, we have minus 2. So at minus 1, the value is minus 2 for us. We got these set of points. Let me now write down the other set of points, which is 1, 1. So 1, 1 changes to 1 minus 1 is 0, right? And... Uh, minus and half of 1 is 0.5 taking away 0.5 is minus 1.5 
Next point is 2, 4. You could actually get these points from the symmetry also, right? So 2 take away 1 is 1. Half of 4 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. Then we have 3, 9. 3, 9. 1 less than 3 is 2. Half of 9 is 4.5. Take away this is minus uh, 2.5, right? So it is 2.5. Okay, 4.5 minus 2. So we get other points also. So 1, 1 moves to 0 minus 1.5. So that is, you know, this is symmetric. From here also you could get it. Then we have 1, 0. So this is 1, 0, symmetric about this. Axis of symmetry, as you can see, has moved to, to this value. Is that okay? Now, so you could do from symmetry also. We have 2, 2.5. So at 2, the value is 2.5. So we get some of our points which can be joined together to sketch the graph of this parabola. Right. So that is that is how you could sketch parabola using image points. So when there are a lot of transformations to be done, it becomes messy. You could actually apply this image points, right? So so we did apply the image points for all these seven points. First, the transformation is x minus 1 for x values, half of y minus 2 for y values. Once you get these set of points, you plot them and sketch. That is how you could do it. I like you to practice a transformation graphically also. That means step number one will be half, right? So that means the y values will move. This graph will compress vertically. 9 will become 4.5. So 4.5, so it gets somewhere here, right? This is 4, this is 4.5. So that is a vertical compression. You get my point. So here also, this will be like coming down to 4.5. Now this is 4, it moves to 2. So that is the position 2. And this point also moves from 4 to 2, right? So that becomes your point. 1, 2, half, 1, 2, half, 0 remains. So what you have is this kind of a function. This is after compression, vertical compression, right? So that is what you get after compression. So let me write this as half of x square, right? After compression, you could do both the translations. That is left by 1 and 2 down. So this point, you move left. Let me show you here how. You move left by 1 and 2 down. Do you see this is comes here, 2 down, 1 and 2 down. Do you see that? Left 1 and 2 down. Right? So that is how you could do this left 1 and 2 down. Correct? So from here left 1, from here left 1 and 2 down. Right? So, so left 1, 2 down, you get your final graph. So you could do graphically also in two steps. Not a big deal. Both methods are acceptable. You can take up any method you like. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.